Hello, welcome to GreatLifeTree.com. My name is Bernardo, and today's episode is how to master difficult decisions like Yoda. <laughs> and mastering difficult decisions like Yoda is nothing more than realizing that there is a process through which you can make difficult decisions more easily. The first tool that I'm going to give you right now for making difficult decisions in an easier way or master decisions like Yoda is to realize that decision making is nothing more than value clarification. If you are clear on your values and if you're clear on the values that you will experience through each one of the choices that you have when you're making a decision, it becomes so much easier to make a decision. Sometimes we get so caught up into all the little details about decision A, decision B, decision C, I mean all those different choices that we have. But once we actually are clear about, okay, through decision A I'm going to experience this, this and this value. Through decision B I'll experience this, this and this. And through decision C, this, this and this. Which do I value most? Then it becomes a lot easier for you to make the decision. Second tool to make decisions like Yoda, you need to realize that you get to define what are the rules that must take place before you experience one of those values that I'm talking about here. Yes, it's, uh, let's say that you're faced with a decision and it, you're thinking, okay, through this decision I'm going to experience security, I'm going to experience passion, I'm going to experience fulfillment. Through this decision I'm going to experience adventure. I'm going to, number one, it's important for you to know, do you value adventure more than security or, or security more than adventure? That's important. But two, it's important for you to define what must take place for you to feel, let's say, a sense of security. If you need to experience, in order for you to experience a sense of security, you have to have A, B, C, D, E, F, you have a long list, chances are you're going to be playing pretty safe in life. So this is important because you can go back and say, you know what, in order for me to feel secure, I have to know that I will do absolutely everything in my heart to make it happen. As long as I know that I'm going to make everything, do everything in my power to make it happen, that's all the security that I need. You can definitely make that decision in your life. And as long as you do that, you're able to change what needs to happen for you to experience something. So when you make a decision, when you're t between two tough choices, you're not just necessarily going to make the choice that feels the warm and fuzzy. It may be a choice that is harder to take because it requires you for you to take a leap of faith or requires you for, for you to put yourself in a situation that's uncertain. But if you're able to change your definition of what needs to happen for you to feel certainty, for example, then you're able to make decisions that make you grow versus decisions that make you feel good, but maybe not allow you to grow. Third uh, solution that I'm going to give you right now to make decisions like Yoda is to know that at any given point in life, you have the ability to create more choices. What do I mean by this? If you're faced between A and B, <laughs> you don't have a choice, you have a fucking dilemma, right? So if you want to be able to come up with a better, uh, an easier way, come up with a third or fourth option. To give you an example, you're between spending time with this person or this person. Well, that's not to say that you can make a choice about spending time with both, or another choice that says spend some time with this person, some time with this person, or another choice saying, you know what, I'm going to spend time with neither. Uh, you, you have more choices than you think. Sometimes we get so caught up into the two choices that we have that we forget to know that we have the creativity to create something far more powerful than these two original choices. And that's what I'm challenging you to do. Last thing that I'll say right now, decision making is like building muscles. The more decisions you make, the easier decisions become. If you're somebody who's making decisions once a month, it's going to be very challenging every time you, uh, you're faced with something. If you're making decisions every week or every day, it's going to be easier for you to consciously come up with decisions in a way that feel right to you, that are good for your growth, and that don't take you forever in order for you to be able to make them. So my challenge for you today is for you to make one decision that you've been holding off, something you've been putting off, and I want you to go through this process. Number one, realize that you need to become clear about your values. Number two, that you get to define the rules for you to experience those values. Number three, realize that you can have more choices than those two options that you've been considering. And number four, you need to make decisions more often. So your chance to make decisions more often is today. Make a decision today that you've been putting up. Share it with me. I would love nothing more than to hear what's the decision you've been holding up and how you've turned it around, how you made a decision, and what effect it had in your life. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. I challenge you to live a full and conscious life, and I dare you to make a decision today and become a master Yoda of decision making. Thank you.